For the first time, a local nurse is sharing his story with us with what he is seeing, what he is experiencing as these hospitals are really being hit hard. Yeah, so Lisa, this is very, very important. Take a look and listen here as our Amy Hudak shares his story and his warning for all of us. Nurses in the ICU on the COVID floor say from the day they walked through the front doors here at Excella and treated their first COVID-19 patient, they were changed as humans. They walked us through the past nine months, what it's been like on the front lines, and their message for the community. You know, knowing that sometimes when I leave my shift, knowing that that patient probably won't be there when I go in the next time. Um, you know, it's a little bit hard after getting to know their family. James Wirt says he sees COVID-19 robbing families of the dignity of saying goodbye. You know, you have to FaceTime the family. Um, you, know, you have to talk to the family. It's hard because whenever you have two COVID patients, sorry, um, when you have two COVID patients or, or anything and, and you can't be in, in their room, and that's my biggest thing, I think, with anybody, uh, COVID or not passing away, they shouldn't pass away alone. In March, Wirt was a brand new nurse assigned to the ICU, forced into fast-tracked training when the first COVID-19 patient in Westmoreland County was admitted on his watch. And then it, it led into an intubation, which was, you know, a very kind of scary experience uh, for all of us involved. That's Nine months later, um, you know, we didn't see the worst of it till now. Wirt says nothing compares to what he's experiencing on the front lines. We were now the unit that would, you know, we watched on TV, these people that we saw, you know, in New York taking care of these patients, you know, moving patients out of beds till we could fit more COVID patients. Um, you know, somebody comes in with a heart attack and we don't have a bed. There aren't enough vendors to rework the ventilation in COVID rooms. Outside of Excella, wooden slabs and buckets meet the demand for now. Healthcare workers say they're picking up extra shifts and bracing for what comes next. We're not seeing Thanksgiving. We're not going to see Christmas for another, you know, month or two as well, um, which is why I just, you know, I think we should rethink kind of everything that we do. The simplest act of kindness you can do right now is just wear a mask. Our healthcare heroes say they take it day by day, patient by patient. You know, to have their families, you know, not be there and you have to call them and say, you know, we took them off of life support and then um, you know, have to call later and say they, they passed. I think it's a hard, one of the hardest things. But Wirt says there is hope for an end to this pandemic and an end to people suffering from COVID-19. We're just not quite there yet. One of my uh, you know, uh, idols always says, um, you know, if you want the rainbow, you have to put up with the rain. And I feel like right now we are in a torrential downpour. But I do see that rainbow and I do think that there's uh, a light at the end of this tunnel. Amy Hudak, Channel 11 News.